Hi, I'm Jason with Gear Talk, and today we've got Mike Miller, inventor of the InstaFlutter. Hey Mike, thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, thank you, I appreciate the invite. Sure, and um, so um, I first heard about your product from one of uh, the Gear Talk blog readers, and uh, if you can kind of just give us a quick uh, definition of what the InstaFlutter is, just so people have a, an idea of what they're going to be seeing, I think that'd be great. Okay, great. The Instaflator is, is a very lightweight, one breath pump. It uh, rolls up very, very small. Uh, it's basically, as you can see here, very small in size. Uh, it, uh, it, it's a one breath pump so that you can blow up any sort of uh, air mattresses, uh, any type of air mattresses, any sort of pool floats, uh, pool toys, whatever. It's got different type of valves on it. Okay, great. Well, I've got my insole mat here, which is, this is not a in self-inflating uh, pad, and it's, it's very thick, so it takes me pretty much forever to inflate, and I'm pretty much dizzy at the end. So, would you mind uh, giving us a quick uh, demonstration? Sure, I'd love to. Okay, this is the Instaflator right here. As you can see, the Instaflator has different types of nozzles on it. It's got your Barlow's nozzle, which is for usually any of your large type air mattresses. And then it's got two different nozzles that you put in for any smaller type of uh, things that you need to f blow up. For this particular air mattress right here, I do have an adapter, a small piece of plastic tubing that comes with it that you simply slip on the end of it. And from there, you take this, you make certain that you open up your air mattress, screw it open, simply slip this on the end of it, like this, and then at that point in time, you just simply unroll the Instaflator. You hold the end of the Instaflator open, and you keep your mouth about 10 to 12 inches away from the end of it, and with one breath, I'm gonna go ahead and completely inflate this bag. After it's inflated, I'll go ahead and squeeze it shut to keep all the air in there. At this point in time, I have a very large amount of air. The end's closed. So now I just simply go ahead and transfer the air into the air mattress any way that you want. I like to go ahead and just simply uh, roll it into it. Very easy to do. One of the nice things about this here is that the air that I put into the Instaflator here did not come from my lungs. It came from the outside air being forced into it. So. The amount of humidity that was in the outside air is what's in this bag right here, and that's what's being transferred into the air mattress. If I were to be blowing up the air mattress with my lungs, I'd be putting a lot more humidity, moisture into the bag, which if you're out camping, you don't want that moisture inside your air mattress because it makes the nights quite a bit cooler when you're sleeping then. So at this point, it's almost completely full. I still have a very large amount of air left in it. Simply get it to this point twist the Instaflator, that goes ahead and closes off the air. You can let go of it, go down, tighten up your air mattress, pull it off, you're done. If you were using a larger air mattress, what you would do is you would just simply get to the end of it, once again, come back, one breath, fill it up, and once again just transfer the air into it. One of the concerns that people have with the Instaflator is if this were in your tent right now, your air mattress would, you'd have to be standing outside your tent to blow that up and during the rain that wouldn't be very good. Uh, as you can see that would be, you'd be out there fairly far. One of the things you can do with the Instaflator is simply come back over the top of it inside the tent now. So now I'm inside my tent with one breath, fill up your Instaflator and then transfer the air into your air mattress from this point right here. So you can do it within a tent also. One other nice little tip that uh, you can do with the Instaflator if you want, is if you do have the wind at your back, just simply go ahead and hold the Instaflator out and at that point in time, the air will go ahead instead of having to blow into it with your mouth and that'll completely inflate the Instaflator. Well, thanks a lot, Mike. That was a great demo. Thank you. And a uh, very clever invention. Uh, if you're interested in checking out more about the Instaflator, please visit their website at themealair.com.